इन आर जैन रिलीजन एज वेल ध्यान बिंदु और ध्यान शतक आर द बुक्स विच टीचर्स दैट इफ यू हैव अ नेचर ऑफ बींग फियरफुल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू फियर एट नाइट then for every day for 5 minutes you focus or meditate on a lion this will help you to transfer the energy of lion into yourself uh there is no stability you are not constant you are easily manipulatable you are not adamant then meditate on a mountain you will be as successful as a mountain we keep telling this to many people that if you are doing business and you think that your business is not working well or you are unsuccessful at the job i explain this to many people that businessmen need to put a picture of mountain behind them where they sit the reason is the thing which you look at every day you become that thing so a businessman who puts a picture of mountain where he sits his fashion of work will be like a mountain which is adamant and strong it becomes perfect and rigid like a mountain you become motionless like a mountain okay so you must have seen a mountain right there are so many people who climb the mountain there are so many trees who are shedding leaves on that mountain sometimes there are these new leaves coming or there are these animals who are migrating to this mountain there are cows buffaloes goats dogs and other such animals are roaming these mountains also there are people who explore these mountains sometimes there is snow on this mountain or sometimes there is rain on this mountain sometimes there is heat but instead of all these things happening on its surface the mountain still keeps standing still rigid and motionless nothing affects the mountain on the inside so the person who wants to become adamant will have to focus on the mountain so the people who keep changing their jobs the people who do not have any goal in their life or the type of work keeps changing or people who keep changing their businesses the people who keep changing their thoughts for those people wherever they find a site at home or if we talk about a businessman wherever you find site at the workplace put a picture of mountain wherever your seat is and if you are not a businessman if you are a common man then wherever your sight reaches if you are a person who is confused a man who is unstable or a man whose brain thoughts mind life everything is unstable or a man who doesn't have any family to him the mountain will help in such ways and i am not saying this this is said in the jain books like dhyan bindu that whatever you focus upon you will become that person now keep this in mind do not do anything now you are here listening to my pravachan just for 2 minutes you have to do this exercise don't do it right now listen to this pravachan first if you do it while i'm talking it will be a disturbance now you first listen to me and then after the pravachan is over you try to do this you start laughing artificially just as i finish my pravachan just for name sake there is no joke there is nothing to laugh about or there is no reason still you laugh do ha 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 within 1 minute you will realize that you are now actually laughing from inside then you try to get angry artificially angry do you know who am i i will beat you up have this kind of feeling and you will realize that real anger has come now inside you that means that even if anything is artificial even if anything is fake it dwells inside us and it becomes a part of us this is why dhyan shatak says that whatever you are doing be very alert about it because once that thing becomes a habit the habit will become a part of you you would not be different than it because whatever habit a person has the person is recognized by it this person is shy this person is jolly this person is selfish so the habit becomes the identity rather than the name becoming the identity because the world only calls the person by his name when he is in front of you jai ram ji ki narayan kishor ji how are you today but as he goes away this person is stingy doesn't spend a penny on anything if your habit is good then your life will be good always remember this it is all about the visualization technique In India this has been started since the ancient times and the story of Eklavya is a great example for this. How did Eklavya learn the technique of archery? Was it his guru Dronacharya who taught this to him or did he learn any technique from Dronacharya from any book or any laptop or any computer or from YouTube? The only thing he did was he let Dronacharya come inside him. So Dronacharya didn't only come alone. Nowadays you see there is 1 plus 1 offer on everything. So the person who lets Dronacharya come inside him also welcomes the knowledge of archery which comes hand in hand with Dronacharya. And the same goes with Goddess Lakshmi. Money comes hand in hand with her. And with Goddess Saraswati comes knowledge. 
सी दैट इज द रीजन आई एम टेलिंग यू मेनी पीपल विल थिंक वॉट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन लक्ष्मी एंड प्रोस्पेरिटी इफ एस्टेब्लिशिंग द आइडल ऑफ द्रोणाचार्य इज रेलिवेंट टू गेनिंग द नॉलेज ऑफ आर्चरी सो मच दैट एक लव्य विदाउट लर्निंग एनी आर्चरी बिकेम प्रोफिशियंट इन इट then in the same way establishing the idol of lakshmi can help any person become prosperous and this we can understand from this example of dronacharya of whatever and whoever we are in company of we become that person and this is the only country in the world which has many types of deities now many people would laugh yesterday i saw this on youtube there is this woman who is asking how many deities are there in your religion how many pujas do you do so either it is that this woman doesn't have anything to visualize about or has a faceless god who sits in smoke or has only one god and doesn't have options to choose from but we have so many of them and in this life that we got as a human everyone has a different lifestyle everyone has a different business and everyone has a different way of thinking and whatever one needs he might get it and no one shall stay deprived of anything and that is the reason for having so many faces so these different kinds of faces are worshiped for different kind of gains the person visualizes and gains accordingly you might have seen for a particular idol there is a particular dhyan shlok which is being recited so that the repetitions are particular you might have seen if you have been to bhairav puja when you look at that form it is holding a trident and staring at you in the extreme form of anger but in the words we also visualize in the words that the vanquisher of fear the one who sets you free of fear the one who gives you bravery valor and patience and such bhairav is there inside me and just as the person starts thinking like this the bhairav actually comes inside you due to this visualization technique and no western country discovered this knowledge you might think that i have to read this particular book to have this knowledge i have to read the translation in hindi to have this knowledge in indian culture there is ample of knowledge we just have to seek this kind of knowledge it is present in upanishads vedas agamas shastras and other books you just have to trouble yourself a little bit for this you have to think what can you achieve from this because our rishis did not explain us if you do this you might get this much of profit or if you do that you might get this much of profit so it was our mothers and our fathers who told their children out of love that child you have to do this the children in the olden times were also obedient they used to follow the instructions given by their parents but today due to our habit of argument and taking an objection on the way of dharma or by giving logical reasons questioning the way of dharma why are we supposed to do this this is costing us for no reason or this is so expensive for no reason but people do not know this in this guy in the temple when you see a flag being hoisted by a flag pole that flag is attracting magnetic energy from all the corners and is giving out peace and energy to every person who is entering that temple this same thing has been deciphered by the scientists in a different way let me explain this to you that how a particular place can be cleaned without any cleaner or without any energizer and how can we make it positive that is told by the scientist but we obtain this by doing different activities like ringing bells due to vibrations in this bell a positive energy is spread in all the four corners of the temple so if even any negative person walks inside that temple may walk out with positivity because we have seen it earlier that energy is omnipresent and we saw how it can enter anywhere so you might know that whenever we go into a temple and whatever the actions are that we do the hidden reason behind all those actions is our own success and it is not for us to get lost in those actions and have blind faith that's not the reason that is why when you do these actions you do them with love with respect and trust i am repeating this again and again i will say it even today yesterday i told it to you but still i will say it today before trusting the world you have to think at least twice you were born to believe in dharma and to trust in dharma and this birth that you have got become a person who believes in dharma or become a person who believes in karma that supports dharma and the success that comes to you out of this trust and this success brings glow into your life so i pray that you lead such kind of life which is healthy wealthy and prosperous with these prayers i conclude that you and your lovely family be happy successful and best of the best